Hey guys, how's it going? Just doing a follow-up video to uh, the video that I made on Saturday morning about the matches, the Euro 2008. Um, we saw Italy uh, defeat Scotland, and that's the end of for Scotland's run in Euro 2008. And we saw Israel beat Russia at the very end of that match, which means that England's hopes are still alive. Um, but first of all, I just want to say thank you for all the positive comments on that video. Um, it's really difficult to stay um, in touch or in tune with uh, what's going on in English football um, and European football. Very difficult. Um, also, thanks for the comment about um, that I call it football and not soccer. Um, I, I will say that I make reference to soccer in regards to our channel over here. Fox Soccer Channel, and that's what they call it, so I'll be consistent and call it that. Um, and there was one negative comment in regards to that, you know, you know, Blake and Blank made a shit video. Well, you know, I'm sure I did. It's, you know, I'm not here to, you know, do a three-ring circus and entertain you. I'm just going to give you my viewpoints. If you don't like them, great, you know, you can go somewhere else. I don't care. Um... But, you know, you're entitled to your opinion, so you can go ahead and express yourself. Um, <clears throat> in regards to, and, and I will say the one criticism that is valid for me is because I'm an American, um, following English football, I don't have a set loyalty to a particular club. You know, and, and I don't want to offend anyone, but I like the underdogs. I I like the Reddings and the Sheffield Uniteds and the... Uh, the Wiggins of the world. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't mind Manchester United and Arsenal and Chelsea, but, you know, I'm, I'm tired of them always being at the top. I want to see Everton. I want to see Manchester City. I want to see, you know, te teams like that. You know, even Tottenham or Liverpool to be up at the top. I, I'd love to see that. I'm tired of seeing, well, gosh, it's Arsenal this week and now it's Manchester United that week or Chelsea the following week. You know, it gets all a little dull and boring. Don't shake it up. You know, let's get Aston Villa up there. Let's get Fulham. Let's Fulham, by the way, is really in trouble. <laughs> um, as are Darby and Bolton. Well, what's going on with Bolton? You know, I'm getting sidetracked here. Anyways, um, previewing uh, the match coming up on Wednesday. And it's England and Croatia at Wembley Stadium in London. And... Really, my two cents worth, my preview, if you will, about it is that England, even though they can qualify by by getting a draw, I don't think they can have that mentality because that is the wrong mentality to go through. Um, and we again referencing back to the World Cup in 2006, you can't back in, you know, past the group stages. You've got to, you got to win. You got to win with goals, and you got to be aggressive and be assertive and I'm just fearful that they're just gonna well you know it's you know if Croatia scores a goal then we'll you know touch it uh, up at a notch and go up get a goal and no you can't do that you gotta go for the win go for the jugular get rid of Croatia even though they're going through you gotta have that killer mentality if you don't you have a repeat of uh, 2006 World Cup um, in regards to the striker issue, I see my latest report I saw was that Darren Bent was now with the club or the national team. You know, I don't know. I, and then I heard before then it was uh, Peter Crouch and Jermaine Defoe. A little height, height differential between those two. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know what the, what the deal is. You know, how they're going to, how McLaren is going to do the configuration. But, uh, you know, put your midfielders in, you know, get, you know, Gerard and, and, you know, whoever else is there. I can't, sorry, it's late. I can't think of who else is in the midfield right now. Um, but, you know, you know, do something, you know, do something positive. Don't back in. Don't give the reason for these uh, newspapers, especially ones like the Telegraph, who always seem to, and I only say this from the online versions, I don't actually get a subscription to the Telegraph, but they always seem to criticize the team. And, you know, some of it's 
you know, rightly so. I mean, sometimes they're a very dull team to watch, and it's very frustrating. It's like, come on, guys, you know, you know, look at the French, look at the Germans, and look how they play. It's smooth, it's, it's chemistry, it's bonding, it's, it's, there's a common purpose when they're out on the field, or pitch, whatever you want to call it. There's a common purpose, and it just seems like England is, well, I will pass the ball, and we'll do this, and we'll do that, and it's like, no, you know, have a game plan. Have have something set out to say, you know what, we're going we're gonna to pass the ball, but as we're passing the ball, we're moving up, and we're going to really stick it to them. We'll stick it to Croatia. Let them have it. You know, have that killer mentality. So, that's just my preview. <laughs> They can't settle for a draw. Even though they'll go through, if they get a draw, they're, I, I just fearful that they're just gonna, they're gonna lose in the next round, and they're just gonna get embarrassed, and everybody's gonna say, "Oh, you know, McLaren's not the answer. Let's get somebody else." And you go through this cycle of of managers who just, you know, who who can't get the job done because the players don't want to get the job done. So I'm putting this on the players. I'm not gonna put this on McLaren. He's he's Put the wheels in motion, and now if they can only get to the get to the destination, it's up to them. So it's all, it, to me, it's on the players and the players alone. You know, <clears throat> their defense has been sound, I guess, and you know, Paul Robinson in goal, that's great. He's been doing fine as long as he doesn't hit any divots. Uh, the ball hits any divots when it's coming back to him. And that should be fine. Um, I guess that's about it.